Hey everybody, it's Scatterbrook Farm with another Heyday Designing video. Um, right, just to put you all in the picture, um, a lot of people have asked me, given me messages and um, asking me about different designs. And one design that people are asking me to do is a is one that I've got on my on my town. It's a, a bridge that the animals can walk over. And people are asking me, you know, how do, how do I, how do I make a bridge? Because a lot of people want, you know, water features and, you know, they want their water to incorporate with something else. And it'd be nice to have, have a bridge on the farm. So I'm going to share with you. Um, feel free to copy what I do. No problem at all. Um, and if any of you whether you've just started the game or you're you're well into the game if you if you're struggling for designs drop me a comment below of you know what design you'd like to see or or you need help with designing just drop a message down below and uh, I'll try and get through as many as I can and, and I'll, I'll do a few videos on uh, on designing and helping you out um, I would live stream, but you'll probably notice in the last video I make a few noises and it's a little bit jumpy because I'm a Tourette sufferer. Um, I've had it from the age of five. I don't swear with it. Some people can be quite verbal with it, but it's like ticks and, and like I've got hiccups. So I do apologize if you hear a couple of noises throughout the video. It's just my condition that I've gotten. If I live stream, you know, it probably get on your nerves after a while. So, so without further ado, um, everything I do is on a mobile phone. It's not on a laptop or a computer. So everything that I do is purely on a mobile phone. So we're going to do a bridge design. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to set out the slabs. So we put the slabs, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now that's going to be the initial walkover. Okay. The next thing we do is we add the wall. If I can find the wall, there it is. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that there is the initial bridge. Okay, so now we need water to go under the bridge. So we select the water and we go one, no, have it, have it down a bit lower. So one, two, three. We'll have three that side and we'll have now I do apologize if it's a bit jumpy. It's all being done on a mobile phone. Okay, so when you look at that design now, as you can see on the right hand side, the top side, the water looks as though it's going under the bridge. But on the left hand side, on this bottom side, the water doesn't go under. So we've got to make an effect to make it look as though that water is going under the walkway. So now what we do is we add a conifer. So you go to the trees and we scroll down to the conifers. Now you've got a small pine there. We don't need that one. You've got a big pine or a medium pine. So we'll go for the medium pine. Okay. So 
Now, I've got to move it around. Let's have a look. No, it needs to be up one. Okay, we get the other medium pine and we will put that the other side. Okay, and we'll add, uh, let's say we go for some daffodils. So we put that one there, kick it right hand side, and we get that one there. And that's kicked you can turn it left or right so you can turn it that, that way or that way but we'll keep it the same as the other side so now we've got the effect that it looks as though now the water is going under the bridge and out the other side okay just by adding that conifer so already we've now got our bridge so now, if we want to start adding some di different things, so we get some more slabs. So we go to the slabs. Uh, we go for some dark slabs. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What else could we have? We, we could have a... Let's look for a bench. There's a bench. What else could we add? Oh, let's have a look. Ornaments. Let's see if we can go for a lamppost. There's so many... <laughs> I do apologise, that is my dog probably seen a cat out the window. I've got a little, a little Shih Tzu dog. She, she's on standby in the window. Storage. Oh, where's, I'm trying to think where all the lamp posts are now. Ah, there's one. We'll put that there. We'll turn it like, like that. <laughs> okay so we need something just to the right of the bridge there i got anything up here let's take this okay there uh, we want something just to the right of that so let's go to what have we got down here hmm let's have a look and a bit more fence let's So we'll add a, a fence just around there. I think that looks about right there. We could add a few more flowers. What are we going to go? Well, let's go with some orange. Or does pink look nice? Let's try a bit of pink along there. Right to the edge of the fence. Um, what else? So, well, already you can see that what we've got there, we've got a pretty little design. And you can incorporate that how you want. You can put trees around it. You know, you can extend the, the water down through your farm. You can, you know, you can extend it on down the footpath. Um, so, basically, what I, what I, what I design is what I can, what I can, see, I can see it before it's even done. I've done garden design for over twenty years. I used to work for my dad as a garden designer, so I, I sort of train myself to to see what something looks like before it's even done so just by doing this i can i can sort of place things straight almost straight away some things you know take take a while just to to get right 
uh, you want something just by that post. So let's just go for another conifer. <clears throat> right. Now, when you look on somebody's farm and you see the trees all blowing in different directions, if you look at the trees that you've got, that I've got on there, when the wind blows, one blows one way and one blows the other. Well, that don't happen in the wind. You know, when the wind blows, all the trees should blow the same. So what you do, when you've placed out your trees in a clump like that and you want them all to go the same way, all you do is just go to anybody on your friend's bar. Okay, when it loads. Always the same, isn't it? It's always the same. Come on, load. I don't know what's going on here. It won't, it's taking its time to load. Okay, right. What we'll do, we'll close that. We'll go. Um, okay I'm not on my Scatterbrook farm um, farm because it's full up as you'll probably see in the videos it's completely crammed so this is my other farm that I've got um Where's that conifer gone? Where have you gone? So all my videos, designing videos, will probably be done on this one. It takes a little bit longer on a on a phone when you're doing it, but right there's the small pine tree. Right, right, we'll try it again. So with the trees, you see they're all blowing in different directions. So what we do is we go onto there, click back, and watch the trees and see when, once two of them are going the same way. So you've got the, but the bottom two now are blowing left and right together. But as, as those two are blowing to the right now, the top one is blowing to the left. So what you do is you tap on it turn it come off of it go back to your friends straight back and now those trees are all blowing the same way they're all going in the same way so there you have it there's the bridge design for those of you who are wondering how i, how I make mine on my on my sanctuary as you can, I've got one on the on the sanctuary, as you'll see, and all the animals, the elephants, and that all walk over the bridge, and it's quite nice. You can add, you can add a, a pond at the bottom. You can add a waterfall. Um, I hope this helps you. It's only a, a, a quick video, but if any of you, uh, whether you're beginners or you know established in the game. If you are struggling and out of ideas or you want me to, to do, to do a, a design for you, like this one, there's the bridge design. Um, feel free to copy it. I won't, uh, I won't be offended if you, if you were to take on the design and you all add it on your farms. No problem. If I can help you in any which way I can, then no problem at all. So again, any designs that you'd like me to, to see me do, drop a, a message uh, down below. Or um, I know a lot of you go on to um, Gizmo, Spike's video and, and Ricky's. But I'm, I'm on uh, Phoebe. I'm on Phoebe's site quite a lot of times uh, watching her live streams. So again, if you want any help with any of the designs that you've got oh there's a crate there what are we going to get let's have a look 
Oh. Any designs, just drop a, a message on Phoebe's um, live stream. I'm always on there. And uh, I can do videos to help you out. I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, obviously, if you like it. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice little design there. Obviously, if this was my design that I was going to make it bigger, I would I would add more and more things around it. But this just gives you a, a general insight of how to make a bridge and incorporate a stream. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So again, any help with any designs, no matter what level you are, I can do designs for beginners. I can do advanced designs. So drop a message below. Um, wherever you are in the world, wherever you are watching, have a good day or a good evening. And uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Happy heyday.